Community has an opportunity to voice whatever concerns it may have. But having said that, it's also important for me to say that if we don't move forward together, the city won't move forward. It won't. Or it will move in a way that only finds itself back in the situation was in before. And it's for that reason, it is for that reason that I'm willing to postpone this until a time such as <laughs> such as you feel you need to review the information. <clears throat> I won't argue with you anymore about whether or not you had a chance to do that, but what I will say is that no matter what conclusions you come to regarding this, the city of Flint needs a plan to move forward with. Yes. And, and, and with that, and, and I, I want to tell you I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I want to ask my colleagues before, before we move on, I want to set a time because this is important. I want some feedback from my colleagues. I know Councilman Mays took time and met with Mr. Early. How much time do we need before we have another meeting for council members to be able to adjust their schedules and Next Monday. Mr. Early's to me? A, a, a week? Next Monday. Ten days? I, I want to set a time right, right. now. Next I don't Monday. want to walk out of this room without so us having a date and a time to okay. deal with Mr. This. President, point of order. First, withdraw the motion. I think I'll it's withdraw. the motion on I'll the withdraw floor. Motion. The motion has been withdrawn. I'll, order, um, I'll recognize that. Two weeks from today is fine, Scott. Oh, no. Keep it on a Monday. Two weeks from today no. is... The 7th of April. Mr. President, is the... Oh. Wait, just one second, oh. Mr. Freeman, please. Is what? The 7th of April? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the 7th of April. I Mr. President. I'll be out. Let, Councilman. Let's do it in a week. It's, a, it's two pages. Two pa not even two pages if you put it all together. And it's not real deep. I don't think that we need two weeks to, to read it. And I would suggest to the folks that came up to the podium tonight to speak on it, you call our office tomorrow and I will email you a copy of this plan because 90% of what was said tonight wasn't even true to what the plan is. We talked about, we, we talked about, um, we talked about, well, you're approving a deficit elimination plan. No, we're not. We're improving a process to develop a deficit elimination plan. So I would suggest two, two weeks one from week, tonight. Is, one week is what I'm suggesting. Okay. That would be I'll March 31st. I, I'm not available March 31st. It doesn't have to go forward without me. Two weeks, it no. would be great for me if that okay. was. Okay. Two weeks is two months. Let's make it right. two months. Two. Mr. Early, two I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you. Monday. Next Monday. Oh, Excuse me. Mr. Early, can we set a special city council meeting for April the 7th at 5 o'clock? 5.30? I'm sorry. That's two weeks from tonight. And that's in the, and that's in the beginning of my vacation, and I'll Mine postpone too. it. Mine, too. My spring break. Mine, too. That'll work. I'm sorry? That will work. Okay. Okay, Mr. President. Um, just a minute, Mr. Mays. I just want to make sure. Everybody, I, I mean, I'm giving up some of my vacation to be here. I just I'm want all, you to know that. I'm all right with it. I'm, I'm and I'm going to do that because right. I think it's that important. So we're going to set a time right now, 530, April the 7th, right here to deal with the seven-point plan, Okay. All right. All okay, right. Mr. President. Now, now, there's a motion on the floor to... No, it's no approve. motion on the floor right no, no, now. No, no, he withdrew it. I'm sorry. That's correct. Okay. So there's nothing on That's the floor. That's nothing on the floor. I'll make a motion to postpone and set it for two weeks on April the 7th, and uh, so move. Um, 
that's what I'll do, and that's what support? I so support. move. Support. It's been moved and supported. Thank you. Now in discussion, if council members have a problem with it, we can adjust, but look like that date was made before the real discussion. I heard Mr. Nolan, and so I hope that we have a council of nine. It's important, but what I'm looking at in that special meeting is a little more than the detail. Under Public Act 436, there's another alternative after 18 months. And so that's been, while you believe some people are hung up on the detail, and I heard Mr. Freeman say it's just a procedure, I'm going to keep articulating there's another way that I want information brought. So why would anybody be opposed to bring in the other alternative in detail and with legal knowledge to the council? If I keep telling you that there's a neutral facilitator option, but this is only presenting the transition board option, then it's falling on deaf ears. So if we're going to have a special meeting and you're trying to get all the council buy-in, eight versus nine, you got to hear what some of my concerns are. I want Mr. Early and the city attorney and those who understand 436 not only to bring this one option but show the council the legal differences between the two options public act 436 is so new that i believe my colleagues the emergency manager and or the city attorney i can't speak for nobody but a lot of people don't know it's another option in the budget process and in the budget recommendations, we see the hiring of a city administrator. The transition team that took over in Detroit, not only did the transition team come in place, but it was an emergency manager order that put the city administrator in place. And that city administrator that was hired, just like what we see here, we don't know if the city administrator will have veto power over the council and budget. I mean the council and mayor, but that's what happened in Detroit. So while Mr. Freeman tried to say it's, it's just something you vote to approve, my vote means something. And those type of details, because remember the council, when we ask people questions, I wish they would be asked under oath. See, when I vote on something, Eric, if I may, this is relevant well, well, in discussion. Know, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but we're talking about setting up a meeting no, on the 7th no. and what will be the contents of that meeting. The and so that's the that discussion. Meeting, Mr. Mays, the contents of the meeting is, irrelevant. is, this, re is this resolution that was just being moved I understand. to postpone. That is what we're talking about and that is what we're voting on. And you if did you, it in order to another, get cohesiveness. Eric, I do. And if you've got another issue that you want to be, bring up, you can bring it up at the end of it the meeting. Be it's too, not a it, part of it's this. It's relevant discussion so, no, as it not, relates. It's not a part of this discussion. Okay, well, Thank you. Mr. President, whenever you're talking about setting a meeting and you go into discussion as to whether or not I want to vote in favor of that meeting, attend it, not attend it, that's my vote. In this relevant discussion, I've already met with Mr. Early, and this ain't about cohesiveness with me. So if you deem that the discussion of what will be discussed in that meeting is irrelevant, and I know for a fact it is, and my colleagues sit there and don't understand it, God bless you and God bless them. Roll, Madam Clerk. Mr. Freeman? No. Mr. Davis? To postpone, to postpone this resolution on the seven point plan. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Neely? Yes. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Ms. Van Buren? Yes. Mr. Kincaid? Yes. Mr. Mays? Yes. Ms. Poplar? Yes. Mr. Nolden? Yes. Mr. Freeman? No, no. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. The vote is eight yes, one no. Okay, Ms. there are no Ms. liquor. There are Mr. no liquor licenses this evening. Mr. Mr. President. Ordinances. Excuse me. I, I need to be excused. We're almost done. Just one second. Man, I, we, Phoebe, we, right, got, we right. got a vote on one ordinance, yeah, and I that's a, it. I have a job. Man. I, 
We have no ordinances for, for, for uh, first and I, reading. And I, have 30, I have 32 keys that I have or, to teach Ordinances in the for second reading, Councilman Neely. Do you want to make your motion on? Oh, on which one is this? The marijuana ordinances for. Um, right. I thought it was postponed. We I thought can we were, vote on them together. Right. I thought we, right. I move them both together to move to postpone for 60 days as the recommendation from the legal department. Okay. Uh -huh. The two ordinances for second reading have been moved. Is there support? Support. They've been moved and supported for to postpone for 60 days. Based on recommendation from the law department. Okay. Discussion? Roll, Madam Clerk. Mr. Davis? Yes. 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 Mr. Neely? Yes for postponement. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Ms. Van Buren? Yes. Mr. Kincaid? Yes. Mr. Mays? That's the action I talked about earlier. I told you, yes. Ms. Poplar? No. Mr. Nolden? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. The vote is eight yes, one no. Okay, that concludes our regular agenda. Now's the time for council members to address the members of the audience. I'm going to start this week with Councilperson Van Buren. Can I? Do you, and you have five minutes. So hey, do you have anything? Mr. No, McKay. I have no comments. Can I be excused? Yeah, you can leave, Councilman Nolan. Councilperson Galloway, do you have anything? No. Councilman Neely? No. Councilman Juan no. Paz Davis? Josh? No. Jackie? No. Eric? Yeah, I think emergency manager order that does the people like that, I want to go on record. I'm opposed to it. I'm opposed to when you chaired the meeting, Mr. Kincaid, and told us as a rule-making person that you can't address people. I think it's most ridiculous. You told me you supported it. I think we should be asking Mr. Early through you and all of the leadership to let us treat these people like they should be treated. Let us deal with them as they come. Those slips are numbered. They take time. They come here. We're here to serve them. I think it's disrespectful to treat people like that. And it's rules that we created that you say you support emergency manager order number eight. And finally, I would ask that you give me a little more indulgence and respect because my political image means something to people. And I know Robert's rules. And I'm here to tell you, I think when you're right, the fight is going to be lost. I'm going to tell you this. When there's a motion that was denied to postpone, really, there was another action that should have happened first. Can I be excused, Mr. President? Can I be excused? I, my daughter is home alone. Um, I'll talk to you after this, Ms. Galloway. But when you lose a motion to postpone and then they come back and do the motion, it's something that has to happen before that formally, before they can come back and do the same motion they already voted on. This meeting has been a mess. God bless you. questions. Is anybody going to respond to the public opinions? <laughs> Is anybody going to respond to the public? I know you are. 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 I know you are.